Superman and Me, a short essay written by Sherman Alexie, was first published in the Los Angeles Times in 1998. In it, he reflects on how he learned to read at the age of three. In the very first sentence, he states, I learned to read with the Superman comic book. So for those of you out there that read comic books, anime, and other graphic novels, Alexi validates the importance of this genre in his opening line. So read as many sequels as you can. In the remainder of the first paragraph, Alexi juxtaposes the pure joy of experiencing a learning moment to a vivid description of living in poverty on an Indian reservation. But even in the midst of poverty, his father's love of books transcended to him. He explains how his father lined their home with different genres of books and bought them anywhere and everywhere when he could afford to. Alexi states, my father loved books and since I loved my father with an aching devotion, I decided to love books as well. Alexi retells the exact moment he learned the purpose of a paragraph. He connects his understanding of it to that of a fence. In other words, without an understanding of what the words on the page meant, he understood a paragraph as a fence that held words. How genius is that? He extends this metaphor by applying the concept to his environment, his family, his home, his community, and thereby cementing his understanding of it. During this time, Alexi picks up a Superman comic book. He focuses on Superman's actions. He doesn't understand what the words in the bubble say, but he understands what Superman is doing. So he says out loud, Superman is breaking down the door because that's what he sees. In other words, he develops a story in his own words based on what he sees. This is how he teaches himself to read. Amazing. Alexi transitions from first person storytelling to third person as he explains that had he been anything but a poor Indian boy on a reservation, he would have been considered a prodigy. His giftedness worked against him on the reservation though. He wasn't supposed to demonstrate his brilliance and as a result was an outcast amongst his Native American classmates and pitied by the non-Indian teachers. But he would not fall into the trap of pretending and he fought for that right every day with his classmates. His classmates pretended to struggle in school but knew all the lyrics to the powwow songs and could retell complicated stories to their families and friends. Hiding their intelligence from non-Indians granted them acceptance in their community. Again, Alexi juxtaposes two ideas, the expectation that Native Indians will fail against what he chose to do. And he uses four telegraphic sentences to highlight how significant his choices were. I refused to fail. I was smart. I was arrogant. I was lucky. In essence, all four of these conditions had to come into play for his life to truly change. So what did he do? He read. He read everything he could, and he read as often as he could, because he believed that reading was going to save his life. And he does save his life. He's still shocked that he became a successful writer because the odds were stacked against him as an Indian. He didn't have Indian mentors that were writers, so he became one. When he visits Indian children in school now, he sees himself in their eyes. They too are trying to save their lives. But he also encounters the resistant ones, just as he used to as a child the ones that refuse to dream. So he tells them, books, books are the way, books are another path. But they don't let him into their hearts. They continue to refuse to dream. Alexi ends his essay using the same telegraphic sentences he used earlier, 
only they are in the present tense. He's not referring to what he had to do as a child to make his life different. He's using the same thoughts as an adult to make a difference in the lives of Indian children. He refuses to fail them. He is smart enough to show them the way. He is arrogant enough to believe that he can make a difference. And he is lucky enough to be able to give back to Indian communities. He is no longer just trying to save his life. He is reaching back to save their lives as well.